In today's video, you are going to learn how to analyze Primera P6 uh, project schedule in tracking phase, not with single baseline, not with two, not with three, but with four baselines. Yes, it is kind of thing which you can understand and you can enjoy. But before getting you on Primera P6 dashboard, I just want to make sure that you are already subscriber for this channel if you are not till now you have to subscribe so that in future if i'm going to make any kind of video you can get that link of video on time so let's take you on primavera p6 dashboard and here we are uh, you can see that uh, this is something like project mep project and uh, you can see there are already in gantt chart you can easily understand project in the tracking phase and if i can get into the project uh, maintain baseline the initial baseline was already assigned which was representing the initial project planning or scheduling, right? So if uh, we started the tracking of our project, somehow our project was on, not on the track. So there is the detracking or slippage, right? You can see right now. So that is our initial baseline. I have explained this concept earlier as well, but uh, from this point onward, we are going to learn how to generate second baseline, third baseline or whatsoever. If I can take you on this scheduling bar and you can see over here 15th of July till 15th of July, we have updated this project schedule. So on this certain date, we have come across some changes and we need to save this document as it is as a second baseline. Because every time I suggest my students, learners that why we need to develop the second baseline when we have certain things to add in our project schedule as per the change control board instructions. So at this time, after this much tracking on 15th of July, we are already, we have already done the addition of the scope and now we want to save it as it is. So again, we have to get into the project, maintain baseline. As of now, 15th of July is the data date. We are going to save this document as it is. The same steps will be followed and here it is. Now the initial one was saved from 12th of April till 10th of December. Now after this, we are going to save this one like this way, right? So this is the secondary baseline and we can rename it secondary baseline, right? And uh, we can just name it like management sign of baseline mid project status baseline, right? So the date is over here last update is over here and we are going to close this one and after that i'm going to again click on project assign baseline and this time this is secondary baseline right and i'm going to assign in this box secondary baseline close this one okay and if i want to see uh this is primary baseline this one is primary baseline as soon as I'm going to assign this one, the secondary baseline is going to show up underneath because now it is representing because freshly I have assigned it. So it is actually going to uh, representing the blue bars are, uh, you know, uh, the current status oriented bars already, which are, you know, this. So further on, if I'm going to change anything, then it is going to present the slippage, right? So the third setting, I will take you into the bars. If your secondary baseline is not showing up, you have to go down and down and here. If the situation is like this one, you, what you need to do, you have to just make it secondary baseline and change the color as you want. And then you have to make over here second baseline. If this is second, it should be shown in the second row. These are the basic settings. Apply and done. And after that, you have to make over here under view, there is table, font and row. Here, just make it, uh, you can see that uh, like uh, it is recommended that you should make it like 22. Select height for a row like 22, right? Apply and like this one. This looks good, right? So that is the secondary baseline. So I will guide you further after some time, like one month, you have updated your project again something is coming again something is com coming like variation some cost is going to be uh, add uh, you know uh, need to be changed some scope additional work need to be added into your project scope creep anything right 
so change management control board has approved the new scope and you have to add that one into your this mid project right kind of thing which we are dealing right now so at that time you are going to add let's say i am going to add over here a uh, few new things i will get into the project and here we have something like uh, into the baseline or into the activities let's say i can see that in the remaining work okay it is suggested that not in the wbs but uh, this is the you know uh, connection and ceiling something so some extra work has been introduced in the shape of activities our days are extra uh, we need to add extra days right so anything can be so that afterwards i am just repeating it after one month 15 days after saving this baseline we are tracking our project and something same is happening again so after absorbing or adding up all that scope change in the cost or change in the duration after adding into this project baseline the secondary baseline now you are supposed to add this as a tertiary baseline i hope you can get my concept the the thing which i am going to convey over here right so once you are going to add like the date should be changed like uh, you can see over here let's suppose uh, this is i am not uh, updating activities over here let's say and schedule okay again slippage is here because uh, now this time you have added already few things are updated your project schedule so again you can see that i have added few things so i am going to just add one more wbs over here just for the sake of understanding sometimes you know so drainage system there is safety works huh? so just like this way just add a few activities a b c something like that in a quick way around anything changes a b i here i need you to only understand what i 10 days 12 days this was introduced later on and just link up and this will be link like this one and then further activity details relationships okay for a you can as per the new selection fixtures with this one you are going to add up and you can see now see there is no baseline because this is newly introduced now this is new work right so at this time you want to maintain baseline so add save a copy so this is as per the 30th july tertiary baseline tbl right so this is also mid project baseline close into the project assign baseline and tertiary baseline will be here like this one see and okay but it is not showing up there right you are right but what i need to do see now secondary baseline with respect to secondary baseline there is slippage with primary baseline there is slippage now there is tertiary baseline but it is not showing up there so i am going to right click bars and there is tertiary baseline this one third baseline so change the color yellow is okay but i just want to make sure like this one apply and okay and you can see this is our tertiary baseline see now you can see that tertiary baseline okay uh, you can change the color because the composition is a bit different right apply you can change like this way right so tertiary baseline is showing up there right so that is how you can assign multiple baselines it is going to enhance your understanding so before signing off this video i would request you people to just write in uh, comment section area primavera p6 baselines variety analysis so that maximum people who are just searching this topic can get this video easily see you in my next video thank you very much